The closed CRM is probably one of the cleanest and most powerful CRM systems out there right now. And in today's tutorial, you guys are going to learn everything needed to know to successfully implement Close onto your business. To get started with Close, just head over to the Close website. I will also leave you a link down below. By using that link, you guys can support me for completely free. Either way, once we are right here, just click on try for free and you can then move forward either with first name, last name and email or by just simply signing up with Google, which is what I'm going to do. And once we're signed up, we will then have to connect our email and calendar onto Close. Now we can once again either use Google for this or we can actually also use any other email provider out there. And now we finally are on the Close dashboard. So right now we are on the inbox view. Now this is basically just the go-to view where you can see all of the different emails, calls, SMS and tasks which you have going on. So essentially this view is being used to basically see all of the different things which you will have to reply to or which you will have to do for the day. So right now we have an example email right here. We can now actually open this up. And now we are also going to have the option to actually reply to this or we can actually also mark this as done or we can snooze this if we do want to. So I'm actually going to reply to this right now. Now because Close does actually integrate with our email provider, we can right here then easily just put in a reply for this exact email. We can then actually also create a follow-up email if this person doesn't reply and we can actually also enroll them in a workflow. But more on that in just a second. For now, I'm just going to mark this as done. And now as you can see, our inbox is clear and we have no items which we will handle right now. We can actually also see the done items right here as well as all of the future items which we will have to go for. Now, in this case, I'm going to actually close the inbox for now. Let's rather head over to the leads view. Now, this leads view actually kind of is different than on a lot of other CRMs out there. Because on other CRMs, leads are basically just contacts which haven't been qualified yet. Meaning that on other CRMs, these leads are just going to be people who aren't really sure if they do want to buy something off you. However, on close, these leads are just going to be persons or companies. However, on close, these leads are going to be persons or companies which you're going to deal with. So just all of the different accounts, you could say, which you're going to make money with or which you hope to make money with, I guess. So right here, you can then actually also always add filters onto this view right here, because obviously if you have 10, 30, 50 different kind of leads here, it can get messy quite fast. So you can basically combat that by adding filters. You can, for example, say, okay, only show leads if there is any text right here, if there is a current status, if there is a certain kind of lead source and so on. Basically, you can just filter your leads. Now let's actually close this for now. You can then actually bulk email them if you do want to. You can use a template for this. You can actually also select for each email and you can see uh, basically you can select if you only do want to send this out to the first contact or to all contacts. Basically, this is also pretty useful. But let's for now actually open up the Wayne Enterprise example lead. And this is how the lead view now actually is going to look like. On the top left, you can see the title. And then on the left, we can see all of the different assigned tasks, opportunities, as well as contacts. And we can also see custom fields right here. Now, these custom fields are just going to be different kind of data sets aligned to this exact lead. We can actually also add custom fields and we can just put in a name and a data type. And we can then, for example, add a birthday. I don't know. We can basically just add additional information. So actually, we can then also add descriptions. We can add a URL and much more. However, right here on the right, this is also super important. This is basically going to give us an activities overview of all of the different things going on on our lead. So right here we can see that a qualification call is actually being, uh, I guess, is being booked right now. And basically we can now see the industry, number of potential users, next step, uh, we can see the referral source and a lot more inside here. We can then actually also filter this. So if you only want to see the activities for certain users, we can select that right here. We can use different kind of, basically we can select different contacts and we can basically just filter this inside here. And you can actually also add notes onto this exact lead right here and you can send out emails. Once again, um, Close does seamlessly integrate with your email provider so you can easily just send out an email through this section right here. But let's actually now head over to the contacts. Now, both leads as well as contacts are super important sections of your whole CRM because these sections are basically going to show you guys all of the different people which you've either worked with in the past or work with right now. 
under context, you can then see some example contacts which have been added by default. We can actually also add new leads right here. Um, so if you, for example, do want to create a new lead, we can put in the company name and the contact name, or we can actually also just import leads and data right here through a CSV file. So so I, for example, now edit the CSV file and now we will basically have to map our spreadsheet to import all of our data. So right here, we can then always see the name on the spreadsheet and we will then have to actually map this onto the direct on the correct data set on close. So the first name obviously would be aligned to the first name and most of the time close does a pretty good job with doing this automatically. Um, however, let's actually see if there are any there. Okay, basically this has been done perfectly automatically. However, sometimes there are going to be some errors. So you will actually basically just have to map the data on the left to the correct field on the right. So once we are done with this, I will actually just click skip onto these sections. Once we're done with this, click on next, and then we can actually finalize our import by customizing it. I'm just going to basically, pro basically I'm just going to move forward with this. And this is then going to take a couple of seconds to actually import our contacts or lead. Perfect. And now all of our leads have been imported. You can see Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos. These are just the example leads which I've created. Perfect. Let's now once again head over to contacts. We can then once again open up all of the different context views and generally speaking the context view as well as the leads view is going to be relatively the same. Let's now actually say that, okay, let's opt out of this. Let's actually select um, Bruce Wayne and let's say, okay, we do want to add a deal onto this exact lead, onto this exact contact. So right here, you can basically see that the leads view has been opened up once actually clicking on the Bruce Wayne contact. So let's now add an opportunity. In this case, we can then add an estimated close date. We can say, okay, how confident are we to actually make money of this, uh, basically of this deal? Let's say I'm pretty confident, let's say, 80%. The value is going to be, yeah, let's say $100,000. This is going to be a one-time payment. We can, however, also set this to monthly or manual, uh, annual, sorry. And we can then actually also select the contact. We can also add notes. I'm not going to do that. And once again, we can also add custom fields under this opportunity if you do want to. I'm just going to save this for now. And now we can actually head over to the opportunities view right here. So right here, we are then basically going to have our sales pipeline. This is basically the part of your CRM, which you're most likely going to spend the most time on. Right here, you are essentially going to have different kind of stages. You can see them right here, demo completed, proposal sent, as well as contract sent. And you're then also going to have different kind of cards, which are basically being used to visualize your deals. So we can actually then drag these deals around. We can mark them as won or lost. And we can actually also fully customize this whole sales pi pipeline. Okay, to do that, just click on sales right here and then click on manage pipelines. And we can then actually basically customize all of the different things inside here. We can also create a new pipeline and we can then actually put in all of the different statuses if we do want to. So I'm not going to do that right now. It is just important to keep that in mind. Either way, right here on the top, you are then basically also going to have the option to once again filter all of your different cards and all of your different deals. So you can, for example, only show um, deals from certain users. You can actually filter them from emails open this week and a lot more. So overall, this is just super useful to kind of as have a visual Kanban overview of your whole deals. However, if you don't like this view, um, you can actually also change this to the list view on the left, and then you are going to have something like this. This is kind of more going to give you guys a forecast to actually see how much money you are expecting to make each single month. This is also pretty useful. I personally don't really use this altogether that much. I rather stick to the pipeline view as I think this is actually the superior view, superior way of actually viewing your sales data. Now, once you have set that up, you can actually also head over to workflows. These workflows on other tools are also called marketing automations. With this, you can basically automate sending out emails, sending out different kind of contracts, sending out uh, basically calling them and a lot more. So first of all, you are going to have your trigger. You can either set this as manually or you can actually also add an automated trigger. Like for example, you can set up that whenever a lead is being created, um, you can then actually add this as a trigger to start this automation. 
And then we can add steps onto this. We can send out emails, do calls, SMS, assign a user. We can add a task and we can actually also update a lead status. So one simple workflow would be to actually add a trigger, an automated trigger that whenever a new, de new deal is being created, we can then say, okay, this is going to actually assign a certain user onto this. So this would be a simple example. However, you can actually fully customize this to your likings. You can send out emails and you can actually also update the lead status if you do want to. So for now, I'm actually going to opt out of this. We can then actually also head over to conversations. Now, actually close is also going to give you guys the option to call people inside close. This is super useful because like this, you can then basically um, put in all of the notes uh, besides your call. And this is just a great way of keeping track of everything, I guess. Now under reports, you're then basically going to see an overview of all of the different activities inside your CRM. You can see the activity overview, activity comparison, opportunity funnels, status changes, explorer, send emails, and you're also going to have the smart views. So these views right here are basically just your leads, for example, with certain kind of filters attached to them. So right here, we can then, for example, use this leads to call smart view right here. And by default, these filters have been added right here, total number of phone numbers, total number of opportunities. And basically right here, this is then only going to show up the leads, which you will have to call right now. This is also super good to keep track of everything. However, the reports on the other hand are simply for visualizing and kind of seeing all of the actual data like sales revenue, conversion rate and so on. So these aren't the same smart views and reports right here. Also, Close does actually offer you quite a lot of different integrations, which you can all use. And additionally, they also do have a Zapier integration. So you can basically connect Close onto any tool out there. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you guys do actually want to sign up to close, I will leave you a link down below to do that. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.